anime! You like anime, right? Right? You don't? You're telling me you don't like anime? Oh, well, that's too bad. We're gonna talk about anime anyway. We're gonna move on to our first category of the video, and that's Best Old Anime of 2020. Best old anime, Kids on the Slope. I did not watch uh, many old anime in 2020, but the ones I did uh, were all recommendations from friends. Uh, and uh, Kids on the Slope is a whole thing. They should make the boys kiss for once. They, 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 they should make the boys kiss. Uh, those boys love each other so much. They love each other so much. It's a story about uh, uh, love, uh, really, in, in, in different forms. Uh, a lot of friendship uh, uh, about turmoil between friends when love gets in the way. It's a show that's been on my list to watch for a long, long time, and I just never got around to it. And after some uh, pushing from some friends uh, because of some other shows I watched earlier this year. Uh, I was like, fuck it, finally. I'm just gonna finally watch this show. And I did, and <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. The, the moaning scene, the, 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 the piano. Oh, that scene's so good. The the look of the show is so striking too, right? Uh, there's there's a lot of like, like really evenly shaded areas. It, it's just like a really smooth gradation that gives this really soft shadows uh, that I don't uh, see a lot. Uh, it, it, in, in shows like it, it's a really interesting style that I, I, th I think really works for this show and and I, I, I really dig it. it it's a great looking show this year I'm gonna like try to make it a point to watch a bit more of older anime that uh, friends recommend to me or anything like that because it, uh, I had such a great time watching kids of the slope yeah I gotta watch more of the old good shit because uh, as much as I like keeping up with uh, the new um, seasonal stuff um, I, I want to fill out, I want to like clean out some of that backlog. There's some, some great stuff I missed back for like the other 20 years I wasn't watching anime. So uh, I got to catch up. Uh, but back to the seasonal stuff. Let's talk about some of uh, my favorite shows of this year, starting with uh, this one. <laughs> Number three, Fruits Basket season two. Last year, I made Fruits Basket uh, my favorite show of the year. Uh, and that still holds true. Um, I think that first season is uh, so fantastic and so heartwarming and, and, and just a really comfy show that makes me feel good about uh, who I am and everything and how important my friends are to me and all that kind of stuff. Season two uh, doesn't quite hit the highs of season one for me, uh, but it's still something that I really enjoyed watching uh, through the entirety of, of its run, and it makes it to my number three. This season, we got a little bit more uh, backstory to the curse and the dark secrets of the Soma family. And because of that, uh, this season had a lot more um, drama to it, like a, a lot more like serious drama to it, as opposed to this um, uh, interpersonal um, um, feel-good drama to it, right? Like like th things to, uh, to lift your spirit. So it, it was a bit... Um, uh, sadder i guess it has the moments that the first season had for me as well they, they, they just didn't come as much as 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 the first season and because of that that's why it's a little bit lower on the list for me and uh, i'm not as enthusiastic about it as i was the first season that said uh the final season should be out this year so we'll see we'll see where that goes it, it's a show that i'm invested in like I, i'm fully invested in fruits basket uh and uh there's there's no way i'm not gonna finish this show and hopefully season three um hits the highs that season one did for me because uh season one had me basically uh, uh, uh tearing up by the end of every single episode um season two that only happened a couple of times uh uh, uh but when it did happen it happened for good reason uh, uh, and and that show still has heart, and that show still has uh, that that ability to pull those emotional strings. Uh, but yeah, that's that, that's that's Fruits Basket season two. Um, it's good. You should watch it. Uh, let's move on to the next to the next show on on the list. Number two, sing yesterday for me. This show uh, was a surprise. To me, uh, th this show was something I uh, wanted to watch because it seemed like you know an emotional drama anime. I love those. That's that is my mo uh, for the shows that I like. Uh, and it ended up just kind of fucking me up every couple episodes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to Kids on the Slope, which, by the way, I saw right after seeing yesterday for me, just basically by coincidence uh, that these shows deal with similar issues. But yeah, Sing Yesterday is is, is a show about um, young adults 
uh, navigating their relationships, right? Their friendships, uh, their uh, their romantic relationships, um, how those twist and turn, how they deal with past relationships and, and how those past relationships linger on their uh, current relationships, how um, the idea you build of someone in your mind and how that affects that relationship. It's, it's, it's a show about relationships um, and it does it in such a grounded and, and real way that I uh, I just fell in love with it, really. Again, also similar to Kids on the Slope, uh, the look of this show is also really striking. The way their characters are outlined have this kind of like pencil-like feel to it, like as if they're 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 being drawn, like hand drawn. I'm not doing a very good job of describing this. You can see it. I'm probably using B-roll right now of the show. You can see what I mean, hopefully. And yeah, and it's a show that tugged on some of my heartstrings. There's a, one particular scene later in the series, uh, without spoiling it, where um, one of the characters uh, goes to to visit one of the other main characters and uh, discovers something, and uh, she, you know, it's holding back. Uh, uh, her initial reaction uh, for the sake of her friend and 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 for the sake of her own uh, um, trying to keep it together you know and and, and that that scene uh, uh, was one that I thought was uh, just very well done and it felt very real uh, so yeah and oh also uh, this show is the show that got me to like a new Japanese band uh, their their name is uh, they're called Yornis uh, Y O U R N E S S Yornis um, they sang the first ending theme to the series, and uh, it's it, it's a really lovely song. I'm not gonna go too much into it because I can uh, talk about that in a different video. Uh, but yeah, uh, they uh, helped me discover some new music that I enjoyed, and also it's uh, a fantastic show that I think you should watch, just like every other show I'm gonna talk about in this video. Speaking of every other show, let's talk about our number one show. That was not a good segue. I don't know why I did that. We're, we're going with it. Let's talk about our number one show, all right? Number one, Kaguya Love is War Season 2. I'm looking at this list now, and literally every, every single uh, 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 anime on this list is somehow about um, uh, 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 connections with people, connections with your friends, relationships between your friends and uh, romantic partners. And, and like, it's, it's just a show, it, this entire list is a list uh, about connecting with people, uh, which is not a thing. <laughs> It's not a thing that could have easily happened in 2020, huh? So, oh boy. Yeah, Kaguya-sama Love is War. I, uh, I haven't talked about the, the first season much at all, uh, but I do uh, really like uh, that show. Um, that first season was uh, was very funny. I took a couple episodes, but after a couple episodes, it really hooked me and, and I couldn't wait to see the second season. The second season ups the ante by a whole bunch. Not only do I think it's funnier uh, and, and had me literally laughing out loud, basically every single episode, but it dives deeper into uh, the emotional aspects of, of the show. It goes more into the backstories of some of our characters. Uh, Ishigami, uh, we get his entire backstory and why he is the way he is uh, right now, so reserved and 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 very cautious uh, around uh, other people and trying not to stand out. We got to see more um, emotional development with uh, Kaguya and, and how she deals with her feelings for the president. And of course we get more internal panic from the press which is one of my favorite things because he just overthinks everything it's not as kaguya but like especially the prez he just goes fucking bonkers and thinks everything he does is gonna make um kaguya do that little you know like It's hilarious. But between all that comedy, there's still a very real and relatable relationship between the cast of characters and and as over the top as their reactions and their plans to get each other to confess may be, there's just like a real relatable foundation of emotions that it builds on top of, right? Like the, these over the top things have uh, uh, some piece of, of relatable anxieties or relatable moments of just genuine caring uh, uh, for the people around you. And yeah, I, I, think, it, I think it's pretty obvious that uh, 2020, uh, we all had a real lack of, of being able to connect with uh, our loved ones and the people we care for. So it, the fact that my entire list this year um, is basically based around that uh, makes sense, uh, especially now that I'm saying it out loud because I did not realize this while I was making that list. It was, it was as <laughs> it was I was making this very video we're doing right now that I'm that I'm seeing that. So um, 
yeah, that's that's my that's my favorite anime of uh, of 2020. Uh, those are my favorite uh, three animes of 2020, and my favorite old anime of 2020. Um, thanks for watching, folks. I got not much else to say. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs>